taking a video. This is Kobe doing yoga. He's looking at his tiptoes. I don't think he likes it very much. Did he want to go out there? Man, what's, what's this nonsense? It's cold out here. Damn, oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> you ready to come inside? You come back in? Is it cold out there? I'm about to whoop that ass, boy. I'm about to whoop that ass. <laughs> you see birds? <laughs> Kobe, where are you going? Kobe's trying to go through the snuggy sleeve. How are you? Can you see him? Here. Give us some garbage, and we're not ghosts. Don't be rude. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. We have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain. Really? Um, a proposition? Like what? It's already over. Happy New Year's, Eve. Happy New Year's, Eve. What are you doing? I'm making lime juice. You didn't get rid of all the limes, did you? Yes. Because you knew I wanted to make lime shots out of them. So we weren't going to do that. I really hope you're joking. I am joking. Oh, you go over there. <laughs> I can do some stuff. Okay, I had a shot of this with a friend a few months ago, and it was like the smoothest tequila I've ever tried. So I said the next time we purchase tequila, I want to get some Don Julio. Little did I know at the time that it's hella expensive. And it was like $55 for this bottle, which is more than I anticipated paying. It's about three times the normal pay. Yeah. For a Figure of it's tequila. um it's New Year's, so we'll splurge a little bit. I like tequila. Do you like tequila? I do. Is that your My favorite? favorite liquors. Okay, so we're just gonna stick this sucker in the freezer for a little while. It's it's 11.30. Oh, you can stick it outside and be more effective. Yeah, that's true. Um, probably won't be starting the shots yet. I'll at least wait till afternoon. Probably. So we're gonna have New Year's Eve game day. Francisco already brought up some games. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see if there's any more we should bring up. This is our cabinet of games that we still need to try and evaluate whether we're keeping. And then over here, we have the games that we already know we like. Got some games to try out. What do you got? Cranium, Poo, Hit the Deck, and Zombie Flux. Okay, we just finished our first New Year's Eve game. It was Poo. Poo. Poo for me, Poo for you. And what did you Poop say, honey? One. You I liked it? I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Okay. I feel like we played it and it wasn't the best. So we'll keep poo. It's worth another consideration at least. I just found this on Francisco's ear. Oh, this is what you're doing now? I think it's a chip. Not a chip. I think this is where he's storing them now. Okay, we finished our second game. There's a lot of sky and a lot of grass in this one. This was my first puzzle building. I you will still never did a good job. again build a puzzle with this much grass and this much sky. It's interesting you're looking for variations of, of sky. This is very cloudy sky. <laughs> this is big clouds. This is little clouds. My Paris this is one weird is better. Hill. My Paris Iceland puzzle is better. My Paris Iceland one is really good. I'd make that one again. I got my tequila shot and a lime and my salt. And I don't have a lime watch. So I'll be mountain doing in place of a lime watch. Okay, ready? Steady. Didn't seem that bad. I don't even need to do a shot dance. Steady. That is not bad at all. It's smooth, right? Yeah. Daniel. Swatch. Heart. 
having a win. Titties. You know Zarzo gets me when he's in the nip. Is he fighting? They're both fighting. Oh, he stopped that. What's he doing? He's like weapon in Zarzo's ear. But Zarzo's just too busy to notice. He's so cute. He is so cute. You want to give me some chips? I'll get you chips so you can get some cream. I know I'll put out the cream and give you chips if you won't play with me. I'll How about we play this one first? We can play both. I don't want to play both. <laughs> we got real Happy New Year's Eve, baby. What did you think of 2017? Kind of stuck balls. Really? Why? Well, not for us specifically, but kind of on a worldwide stage. It's been, it's been an interesting year. I think for us it was pretty good. I mean, everything with our travels and kind of the way that we view our finances and just kind of the way that we're, we're assessing value and planning for the future, I think was super good. Oh. Um, actually, for me, a lot changed. I, mean, I started a new job this year that I like, like exponentially more than my last job. Shout out to AP. I didn't feel like 2017 was that bad. Like, I remember watching my video from last year, which I'll input right here. <laughs> That'll be over our faces. You gotta put it in the corner. No, I'm gonna like put it right here. Oh, I thought you were breaking it. It's gonna play right now. Okay. I don't know. This camera, not the best, but. Um, just jump in real quick before Francisco gets home to say Happy New Year. Um, it's, it's been a year. I mean, there was a lot that I told Francisco, like, I thought about posting online, but it was like, I don't even know, like, it wasn't really a good year, like, at all, like, I mean, and Jean died, and she was like, one of the last remaining pinnacles of this family and my brother moved to the other side of the country which is just sad and this was his first Christmas like not being here so like that's all just sad I mean those were the bad things of the year but they're pretty big bad things and then like the good things are I mean we we went to the UK in Ireland and there was that I I just don't know there wasn't really anything else that was really that like positive that really like rocked my world I don't know it wasn't a good year I think we have we have ideas for the future we're um working on plans. I don't know. I don't think it's been a good 2016, so I hope 2017 is better. I mean, that's really it. Um, yeah. Happy New Year! <laughs> I just feel like 2017, like, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I mean, some parts of it were, were incredible. The Paris Island trip was, I think, one of my favorite trips we've gone on. Barring something like Antarctica, which it, it almost feels like it doesn't count, but those are two of our favorite countries we've been to. Just because it's so, that one's so out there, like, that has to be like. So up there. insane. Yeah, but Paris and Iceland were just as two extremely easy to visit countries go. Like, that was our cheapest trip. Cheapest trip ever? Our, our cheapest international trip. They were, they were probably the two best European countries we've been to yet. It's it's so funny how like like things that are just not so positive in the moment just be like for instance, think about how shitty 
our Paris Airbnb was. Definitely not a positive thing, but it makes it so memorable. Like, my it's, back hurts just thinking it's not like anyone's this. ever going to want to actually stay there and be like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get to this fantabulous Airbnb. It was actually super shitty, but it just makes it like, it was we'll always look back and think of this teeny tiny little Airbnb we stayed at with, with like rancid milk in the fridge and I always felt like I was gonna die every time I stepped out of the shower because it was such a steep step down and yeah it was just insane that might have been the worst place you've ever stayed it was pretty bad but it, like I don't hate it because it was just part of the travel experience I'll give that trip some flavor yeah it's just one of those things it's like it wasn't actually good like there was nothing about it that was good it sucked coming back there like the location was good it was a good location okay it was the main reason why we picked it okay and it was super cheap and the price the other reason why i picked it but i'm just saying like there's nothing about it itself that was like positive yeah nothing inherent to the actual unit that we stayed in that was good but it's okay because now it's just part of that trip and when we, when, every time we look in a room and we're like, how many of our Paris Airbnbs can we fit in this room? And it's usually multiple. <laughs> we'll just look back at that experience and it'll, it'll just be part of it. And that's okay. Like we, like, even though it wasn't really enjoyable in the moment, it's still going to be something that we look back on fondly. I even posted on Facebook recently and I was like, I don't know, there wasn't really anything that happened this year. But then I thought about it more and I was like, okay, well actually, you know, we kind of completely transformed our financial situation and we've been making like much more conscious decisions about how we're managing our money and I think that's leading us to a much more positive place and um, we talked about how we're vlogging, <laughs> which we're doing right now. And again, not trying to be a YouTube star, just literally doing this to capture memories and moments. And you know, whenever, like my mom will often ask, ask me like what I collect and I'll, I'll always say I collect memories. This just is a different way to collect memories. It's a different way to commemorate our day-to-day -day life and I like it. Yeah, there are, there, there are definitely times where I can get exasperated at having to stop what I'm doing because you want to get on camera. I'm like, wait, honey, what'd you say? <laughs> or or just feeling kind of silly sometimes. But but looking back on some of the stuff that we've done this year and being able to think, oh yeah, that, that happened on this, this random weekend. And just having kind of those in a, in a, in a nice little package has been super nice. I really appreciate you putting that work in. Yeah, I mean, vlogging is, you know, it, it takes effort. Like, I, I want to do a blog post talking about, like, the truth about vlogging and, you know, just realizing... My arms getting tired of this kind of camera. <laughs> this stuff happens. And, I mean, there, it's definitely not easy, but it's really, like, meaningful. And I think, like, it really, it's worth it. And I really am looking forward to next year and being able to look back at our vlogs from previous years. And I mean, I don't know how long we'll do this, but it's just fun in the moment. So we're closing out 2017. Let's face it, we're not going to make it till midnight. We don't really try to. <laughs> but all in all, it's been a pretty good year. There's definitely been worse. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Love you. Love you too, baby. It's a cold day, boy. Just wanted to get you all bundled up. <laughs>